There's a variety of medicines that can be helpful for the treatment of neck and back pain. They can be very simple things like over-the-counter analgesics or uh, different classes of medications including non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, sometimes muscle relaxants or medications for muscle pain or even nerve pain medications can be very helpful. But a lot of times you have to use more than one type of medication because we find that using these two or even more medications together they work together synergistically to help people feel better. So you might take one type of medication to help for inflammation, you might take another type to help with muscle related pain, or even uh, a separate medication to take care of some nerve related issues. And when we use these in combination, we can use smaller doses and also really extract the benefit without running into side effects. It's also important to realize that certain medications are helpful in the short term and some might be more helpful in the medium and long term. There's some side effects associated with very commonly used medications that we really want to avoid. And so we might transition a person from taking them routinely to just as needed. While we're doing that, we can also use other medications we know that can be helpful for the treatment of their symptoms while minimizing the side effects of these other more dangerous medications. It really comes down to what are the symptoms that are most bothersome for patients, right? So we have a lot of tools in our armamentarium, so we want to make sure to apply the most appropriate medication to help patients get better. If it's going to be something that is related to their muscles, so we're going to be using a more muscle-based medication. If it's a lot of more inflammation, we'll use an anti-inflammatory medication. Or if it's a nerve-related issue, then you have to use uh, medications that are more appropriate for nerve related issues. So it's really a tailored approach based on the individual's symptoms with their presentation. And you also have to take into consideration any other medical comorbidities they may have. So if a patient has had a history of you know, gastric sleeve or bypass, you really shouldn't be using you know, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications. So you'll have to look for alternative agents to be helpful for them. So you want to make sure that you use medications that are most appropriate for the patient in the conditions that they're having as far as the symptoms as well as other medical comorbidities. So every medication has its risk and benefit. So we just have to realize that we have to balance these two things. And we are aware of the risks associated with medications. Along with the patient's comorbidities or medical issues, we can find the most appropriate treatment for them by avoiding the ones that are not good for them, especially in the, in the medium to long term, and making sure they're feeling better as well. So a lot of times individuals are having pain from multiple structures and multiple sources. So it can be beneficial to take oral medications that can help with multiple problems at once. So sometimes when we're gonna use targeted interventions, we might use some oral medications in conjunction to help the patient feel better overall, and then we can use targeted interventions at the things that are bothering them the most. So it's important to really create an individualized treatment plan for every patient because we can use multiple tools at our disposal, whether that be medications or interventions. We need to make sure that we use the appropriate management strategy at the appropriate time. A lot of times we use these in combination so we can use medications to provide some symptomatic relief while we're working towards coming to a more focused treatment program based on the patient's imaging findings and their functional limitations. I think it's important for patients to have an open mind when, when dealing with pharmacological management of pain because we find benefit from multiple medications. They may not be really for their original intended use, but we found them to be beneficial. So whether that be an Medications that were intended initially to treat seizures or mood can be very beneficial for the treatment of other painful conditions. So we should keep an open mind and make sure we can help them feel better.